Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Asana to Microsoft Teams in 2024. So today we're exploring how to integrate Asana, your trusted projects management tool with Microsoft Teams, which is the popular collaboration platform. This is popular, not the most popular one, but it's still popular. So stick around as I guide you through the steps to connect Asana to Microsoft Teams in 2024 and let's enhance your collaboration and streamline your project's workflow. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll have to go and install the Asana app for Microsoft Teams. To do so, go and open whatever browser you're going to use for this tutorial steps. For me here, I'm going to use Brave and of course in your uh, place, you can use whatever a browser you like. Once you open that browser, go to the URL section, just type asana.com, hit the enter button and this will take you to the dashboard of course if you're already logged in if you're not logged in and if you if it's your first time you'll be taken to this page instead so if you have an account click on login here to log into your account and if you don't click on get started here to create an account or get started here on the middle to create your account if you're interested about the pricing here is this you can post video and read it all by your own as an example with the features this is for small businesses and individuals and this is for enterprise if you want to so pause the video and read that by your own if you don't know nothing about Asana and you want to create an account but you will not learn more about it, you can simply scroll down in their home screen or main screen to understand more about it. You'll be able even to see the integrations that you have, as you can see. As you can see, they have over 300. And yeah, the first one is Microsoft Teams, so you'll be able to just when you logged in. And yeah, some other information that you may want to know. So once you log into your account, first of all, you'll find yourself on a dashboard like this. So what you need to do, just open a new tab, go to asana.com slash apps to take yourself on into the marketplace right away. And yeah, once you find yourself here, as you can see, you don't have to search for it because like you have a lot of apps here. As an example, if you're searching for another app other than this Microsoft Teams, what you should do, I have a trick because instead of using this like uh, filters that they have in here because maybe you don't know where you can find it so which filter exactly you can simply use this trick which is control f and type whatever you want as an example i don't know maybe you're going to look for slack so simply type slack in here as you can see you'll find all the searches so we have seven results that has slack on it so this is the first one this is the second one third slack fourth slack fifth, sixth, and seventh, as you can see. So they give you all the results with Slack. So for me, I'll just come back here to Microsoft Teams, which is what we're interested in our video. I just show you this trick. It's very important. Some people use it because it's very useful, not important. So once you find Microsoft Teams, as you can see, connect your team conversation to actionable items in Asana. So just go and click on that. And as you can see here, Connect your team conversations to actionable items in Asana. So Microsoft Teams plus Asana. You can see a picture in here. Make conversations actionable. It collaborates on Asana tasks and keep work connected without having to leave Teams. Convert Teams conversations and meetings into Asana tasks. Maximize visibility. See Asana tasks, projects, status, updates, and portfolios in Teams with the Microsoft Teams plus Asana integration. You can search for the information you need without leaving Teams. Share tasks and projects with stakeholders which will in full uh, to provide of course relevant details and stay informed about relevant updates in asana receive important notification in your own private my tasks tailor your notification preferences and uh, per channel then follow uh, the progress of tasks in your team's channel keep track of, uh, of information you need in asana while staying focused and connected in teams and yeah, so capture like actions, uh, items during meetings, automate your processes by combining rules in Microsoft Teams and automate your process. Yeah, we read this rules in Microsoft Teams and how to connect it simply. Make sure your Microsoft Teams admins has allows you to use the installation of apps. Open Microsoft Teams, recommend using this club app. Click on the apps tabs in your Teams list navigation bar, search for Asana, click on add, uh, the Asana bot will etc. So as you can see, you'll have to do some annoying steps. If you don't want to do it all, instead you can simply go to this list panel and click on install Asana for Teams, and it will do everything kinda for you. So you'll have to simply go and click on connect to Microsoft Teams as, exa as example, as simple as that. So please connect to Microsoft Teams to use this app. Click in here, and this 
will you'll have to grant permissions especially if you're logged in already to microsoft teams if not uh, they will ask you first of all to log in to your microsoft teams accounts and yeah as you can see so microsoft teams is requesting permission to use asana connect to access your asana account if you authorize microsoft teams you will get permission to access your name email address access your tasks projects and workspace create and modify tasks projects and comments on your behalf display external data on asana tasks anyone with access on this success can see this data so if you agree to it click on low if you the, the, do not agree to it click on the night but if you click on the night you'll not be able to connect asana to microsoft teams and as you can see they'll show you uh you're logged in as this this is the name of me tester test uh, if you're not you just click on not new and you'll have to log into your real microsoft teams account so for me i'll just go and click on allow or allow and here as you can see they'll tell you to sign in into this why not so this is the one click on next you can sign in here with a personal account use work uh, your work or account or school account instead so for you like once you're done it for me of course i'll not like connect to it for example if you click in here click on connects you'll have to allow this those stuffs then connects as an example to your microsoft account and you'll be already good to go for me i don't want to connect to any work or school like microsoft's accounts i don't want to leak anything in here and yeah once you're logged in you'll be already connected to microsoft teams without any problems you can now view and interact with asana tasks in microsoft teams you can create new asana tasks from microsoft teams uh, you can as an example even uh, receive notifications and updates from asana in microsoft teams you can uh, collaborate and discuss tasks with your team integrate task management in your team's workflow and do a lot so as i said before if you want to like do uh, the integrations manually just go and open teams go for apps look for asana download it connect it do those things by your own of course you can do it just go and do it by your own for me as i said i don't want to do it manually so i just click on one thing they did everything for me i just have to connect to into my account and i'll be good to go so there you have it you successfully learned how to connect to asana to microsoft or connects asana to microsoft teams in 2024 empowering this will empower your team to collaborate effectively and manage tasks seamlessly across both platforms so if you have a question or there is a specific topic that you'd like me to cover in the next tutorial just drop it down below in the comment section and i'll try to do it as soon as possible so thank you for watching and of course if you like this video make sure to leave a like down below subscribe to our channel for more help for stories like this one happy collaborating and i'll see you in the next video so goodbye